both Harry and Terry's girlfriends went away on a business trip for the weekend. During the whole time, the couples were texting and sending each other pictures. On Sunday morning, the girls asked their boyfriends to send them their selfies. Harry sent a selfie where he was smiling in the kitchen. Terry sent a selfie of himself in the bathroom. One of the girlfriends knew immediately that her boyfriend was cheating. Who was it and how did the girlfriend know? It was Harry. Look at that lipstick mark on the glass on top of the kitchen counter. Becca and Tom are a couple. One of them rented a scooter from Brown Scooters and now needs to pay for the ride. A worker from the scooter company comes to charge the couple $15 that they owe. Becca and Tom start arguing over who should pay for the scooter. Becca says that Tom was the one who wrote it, so he should pay for it. But Tom says that it was Becca who wrote it and she should pay for it. Who is lying? Becca is lying. Take a look at Becca's footprints. They lead directly to the scooter. There were three thefts at a local supermarket. One in February, one in May, and one in July. Thankfully, the security camera recorded the footage of those three days. The store manager called Detective Moore, asking to solve the crime. The detective took a close look at the footage and noticed one detail that helped him solve the mystery. Take a look at the images and try to figure out who the thief is. In all three videos, there is a pregnant lady. In the video from February, she looks about seven months pregnant. But in the other videos, from May and July, her belly looks exactly the same. This means that she is the thief. She must have been faking her pregnancy all along. Dr. O'Brien invented the time machine and traveled all the way back to prehistoric times. Take a look at this picture and see if you can spot Dr. O'Brien amongst other prehistoric people carrying out their activities. That's easy. It's the guy with the flashlight. He must have taken one with him when he set off on his journey. Katie was running late for class. When she finally arrived at the classroom, she accidentally dropped the pile of textbooks she was holding. It produced a loud thump, making the entire classroom stare at her. At that moment, Katie drew the attention of 20 eyes. How many people were in the classroom that day? There were 11 people. 10 people have a pair of eyes each, right? Add Katie to the equation. That makes a total of 11 people in the room. Police officer Dave received a call late at night. A famous chemist went missing from his lab. After searching the lab thoroughly, Dave found a note with ransom numbers scribbled on it. The note read 26, 3, 58, 28, 27, 57, 16. Based on the note, Dave managed to find the scientist and arrest the criminals who had taken him. What was written in the encrypted note and how did Dave understand it? The chemist is smart. Each number in the note corresponds to an element in the periodic table. So the element that corresponds to 26 is Fe, iron. Number 3 is Li, lithium, and 58 is Ce, cerium. If you use this logic, you can figure out that the first line spells Felice, and the numbers in the second line stand for Nicholas. After figuring out the names, Dave tracked the men down and arrested them. Helena finally got herself a new guitar. She wanted to play it right away, but she had to go to school. She locked the instrument inside her room and left. When she got home in the evening, the guitar was gone. She knew it must have been one of her family members as they always played pranks on one another. So she questioned each one of them. Helena's mother said she hadn't even seen the guitar the girl had bought. 
Her dad said that he had seen it when he passed by Helena's room, but he swore he hadn't done anything to it. Helena's brother said he hadn't gone upstairs the whole day, so he hadn't seen the guitar either. Helena solved the mystery instantly. Can you figure it out? Her dad was lying. He said he'd seen the guitar when passing by the girl's room, but that's impossible. Helena locked the door when she left. A bank was robbed by masked strangers. One of the robbers asked the teller to give them all the money hidden in the bank safe. But suddenly, the teller's phone rang. It was his mother. The robber told the guy to pick up the phone to avoid arousing suspicion. On the phone, the teller asked, Is there an emergency, mother? Call me when you get home and I'll help you with the dinner. Then he hung up. Five minutes later, while the robbers were still in the bank, the police arrived at the crime scene. How did the police know about the robbery? The teller was smart. While he was speaking on the phone with his mother, he pressed the mute button while he was saying some of the words. So what his mother heard on the other end of the line was, emergency, mother, call help. On the outskirts of a town, there was a haunted house. A group of friends decided to check it out. They went there at night, but as soon as they got there, one of the friends refused to go inside and tried to stop the others. But they just laughed and left him behind. There were terrible crashing sounds coming from the house, and then everything went still. John never saw his friends again. How did John understand that there was something seriously wrong with the house? John was very attentive. He noticed that there was lots of footprints leading towards the house, but none going away. A famous hotel has seven floors. Five people are staying on the first floor. Eight people are staying on the second floor. Eleven people are staying on the third floor, and so on. Each next floor has three more people living there than the previous one. Which floor calls the elevator most often? The first floor. Any person staying on a floor other than the first has to call the elevator to reach their destination. In a small town, three teachers asked for sick leave on the same day. Janet said she had got into a car accident and broke her leg. Now she was having difficulty walking with the cast and all. Emma complained she'd had a very unfortunate workout and injured her neck. She couldn't even turn her head. And Tina said that she'd fallen from her bike and hurt her arm. One of the teachers is lying. Can you tell who? It's Janet. She claims she's having difficulty walking with the cast, but she doesn't even have crutches. You wake up and find yourself trapped in a room with four doors in front of you. You hear a monster coming, so you check the door quickly. The leftmost door has a sign on it saying, take the door on the right to break free. The second door also has a sign saying, it's the right door. The third door has a sign, freedom is just right in front of you. And the last door has a sign saying, don't trust the signs. Which door should you choose? Well, there's a little bit of wordplay here. Let's see why. The first door says to take the door on the right. The second one says it's the right door. Not the correct door, but the door on the right. The third door says freedom is just right in front of you. That just doesn't make any sense, does it? You can interpret this statement as pointing at the door just on your right. Well, that's it. It's the last door. It does tell you not to trust the other signs, but it doesn't tell you that they're false, does it? 
that's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.